Good day everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to create a procedure in a program using MIT App Inventor. So for this example, I have here a simple program wherein the user will be able to input his or her username and password. And I have here a login button wherein if the user clicked on this login button, the text in this label will be changed into welcome plus the username input and an exclamation point. So to do that, we have to create a procedure. Okay, so let's go to the blocks. And then we should get this code from the drawer of procedures code. Okay, and again, what we will set here is that this label should be changed. The text of that label should be changed. So we'll look for that label. So I named it as user welcome. And then I'll set its text into the concatenation of the word welcome plus the username input and an exclamation point. So let me rename this into Catenate. Okay. And to produce that combinations of words, okay, we have to select the join code from the text drawer. Okay. And as you can see, I only have here two sets of strings that will be created. But as I have said, we'll be needing three strings to welcome the username input and exclamation point so to add more just click on the settings icon here and then drag a string code block and join it here okay now we have three sets of strings okay so to input the word welcome we should get a blank text here Okay, and another one, copy and paste for the exclamation point. So the text here should be welcome. And then this one will be the exclamation point. Okay. And then, again, the text to be displayed here should be the text input from the username text box okay the username text box so we'll get the text of the username like that so now that we have created a procedure for concatenation what will happen next is that we should create a code wherein it will be given uh, a behavior to the login button so to do that Okay, let's get the code, this one, from the login button drawer, okay, which indicates when that login button was clicked, okay, this procedure should be called, okay? So to do that, click on procedure here and get this one. Call the concatenate procedure, okay? So let's see if that will happen. So I've already... Uh, then an example earlier, say for example, teacher Len. Okay, so the label of the, the text of the label has been changed into welcome teacher Len. Okay, what if we wanted that the redirection of the user to this page is that he could only see the label plus a back button and this fields username and password okay will be uh invisible already for that screen so to do that i already have here a set for that one wherein uh, once the login was clicked okay the page uh, rendering will be okay only the label this one and the back button it's this one it's not visible on the design okay that's why it's not uh, here yet 
Okay, so to do that, to make it visible and this one invisible, we have to set it on the blocks code. Okay, and um, okay, to do that, okay, we should set this one. Okay, this layout to be invisible. Okay. So to do that on blocks, we should set this layout visibility into false. Okay, let's get the false from the logic drawer. What else should be this one, which is the horizontal or layout? Okay. We should set its visibility also into false. So let's copy this. Okay. Like that. And what if uh, we wanted to... Okay, let's have an example first. Feature link. So please log in first. And then once I click this one... The text of this label should be welcome teacher land with an exclamation point. Okay. Okay, so that's it. Uh, it has been rendered that the uh, username and password has been removed. Okay. Now, we want to change this button into back. Okay. So once we click on the back button, we should be redirected on the first screen. Okay, so to do that, uh, we should disable the visibility of login. Okay, visibility of login should be set into false. Okay. Okay, and then what should be visible is the back button. So let's set the visibility of the back button into true. Copy and paste and change this into true. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so it has been changed into go back. Now, we have to set block of codes also, okay, to have a behavior on what will happen if this button has been clicked. So, we'll create another procedure, okay? And we'll name this into back. Okay, and then we will set again, okay, let's copy this one. We will set the label text username into please plug in. Okay, so we'll only need one string, then please plug in first. Okay, so let me put this on the trash can. Okay, and then, so we'll be able now to call this procedure once the button back has been clicked. Okay, so let's copy, no, let's get it from here. We'll be able now to call the procedure back. Okay, but before that, once we clicked on back button, the visibility of the username text box and the password text box okay, should be enabled. And also, the visibility of the login button should be enabled and the visibility of the back button should be disabled. Okay, so to do that, let's just copy this one. Okay, and set it into true. Same as with second layout set it into true okay. 
the login button should be visible and the back button okay. to false okay like that so let's see so once i click on the go back button okay we were directed on the login page wherein the text of the label has been changed into please log in first and the back button okay back button visibility has been disabled and what we can see here now is the login button so i hope you have learned something from this video god bless everyone